External Affairs Minister Dr. S. Jay Shankar has attended the Munich Security Conference where he has held bilateral meetings with several world leaders. Uh, meanwhile, specifically, he has also held bilateral talks with U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken on the sidelines of the conference and has discussed uh, the progress of U.S.-India ties, especially amid the ongoing crisis in the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden. The talks between the two leaders centered on the ongoing situation in West Asia, Ukraine, as well as the Indo-Pacific. Apart from this, uh, Dr. Jay Shankar has, of course, uh, met several other, um, you know, counterparts, whether from Canada or from Peru or even from Germany as well. And he's also, in fact, met uh, David Cameron, the Foreign Secretary of the United Kingdom. But this meeting is very crucial. And joining us on the broadcast to present a perspective on this is Colonel J.S. Sodhi. Uh, good afternoon, sir, and thank you for joining us on News X. Uh, crucial, crucial developments are taking place in the Middle East, especially along international shipping routes routes regarding uh, the Red Sea as well as the Gulf of Aden. And now, uh, Dr. Jay Shankar has met Antony Blinken. They have discussed about this on the sidelines of the Munich Security Conference. Do you think uh, India specifically uh, can lead the charge for peaceful international waters? Jayhan Pia, it's my honor to run a news channel. The 60th edition of the Munich Security Conference is currently taking place in, in Munich which has started yesterday and will uh, uh, finish tomorrow. Uh, uh, what is important is that this conference comes at a critical and crucial time when the world is besieged with three major security issues. The first is the ongoing Israel-Hamas war. The second is the ongoing Russia-Ukraine war. And the third is the increasing tension and turbulence in the Indo-Pacific region. Well, coming specifically to your question, yes, India can play a very major role in bringing world peace because we command respect amongst all the nations of the world. We have good relations with almost all the nations of the world, bearing two countries, Pakistan and China. And that is the reason why Prime Minister Narendra Modi is globally respected as one of the tallest leaders the world has ever seen. So the point remains uh, that India can play a very important role. But what is important is that the warring nations, be it Israel or Hamas, be it Russia or Ukraine, they should come forward and officially request India to play a, a role of a military and India will do it perfectly because we have the best diplomatic core uh, anywhere in the world. So uh, the world as it, you know, uh, slides into further uh, agony, the common man is suffering immensely because the supply chains have been affected, the inflation has increased tremendously high. India should be given a chance by the world order to bring in world peace and India will do wonders, I can assure all my viewers here. Indeed, and what is interesting is what uh, Dr. Jay Shankar has stated uh, following his meeting. Uh, he's, of course, uh, highlighted uh, and spoken in a very positive tone about his meetings with uh, Anthony Blinken as well as David Cameron and uh, specifically Annalena Baerbock of uh, Germany. But on the other hand, there was a contrasting tone uh, when he had addressed uh, his meeting with the Canadian counterpart, stated um, that. That, uh, understandably, uh, there were in fact exchanges regarding bilateral ties and the current situation of the bilateral ties. Uh, now, what do you make of uh, uh, the difference in the tone and the tenor? Is India uh, giving a tacit message to Canada? Yes, definitely. India has always given the correct message to Canada, uh, be it when Canada leveled false allegations on us or be it when Canada has supported terrorism from their soil. And yet again, uh, External Affairs Minister Dr. Jay Shankar has made it very clear that India as a country respects the laws of the other countries, but no country has a right to put false allegations on India. And what is more important is India's national interest and national security are of paramount interest to us. And if any country gives support to the terrorists, India will highlight this, whether in uh, bilateral meetings or in international forums. Through a steam channel, I would request the Canadian government. It is high time that they take strong and swift action on the terrorists who are waging a war on India from their soil because ultimately these terrorists will cause the Canadians more harm 
uh, they should remember the famous golden words of the Secretary of State Hillary Clinton when she visited Pakistan on 11th October 2011, when she famously said that those who rear snakes in the backyard should remember one day that these snakes can bite them too. Today, what Pakistan is facing, the day is not far when Canada will face the same situation too in case Canada does not heed to the advice and warnings given by India time to time. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.